many of us were assembled on the grounds of San Quentin uh, Prison. And we could not believe that the state of California would execute Stanley Tukey Williams. Because we knew, we knew that, that, that the mobilization around this case was uh, the largest mobilization around a death row prisoner since Mumia Abu-Jamal. And we knew that there were people all over the world uh, um, who were demanding, uh, petitioning, demanding that that our that the governor, uh, what's his name? Schwarzenegger. Uh, Schwarzenegger. <laughs>
the campaign for the abolition of the death penalty, to the campaign for the abolition of imprisonment. Yes. Because there are two point three million people in my car. As a lot of people are saying these days, we may have one black man in the White House, but there are too many to be counted in the big house. in his very powerful uh, presentation was referring to um, uh, some of the problems that we might have with, uh, with our uh, uh, first African American president. Uh, and I want to suggest a way that both uh, allows us to remember what an amazing moment that was. Because if you, if, if you think about how we were feeling a year ago, and if, you, and if you remember what it was like in the streets of Oakland on election night, you know, where uh, people were singing and dancing, and if you can remember that on Inauguration Day in Washington, D.C., there was not a single crime committed in the entire district. We can't forget that. We can't assume that now it's just business as usual. Uh, which does not mean that we can't criticize Obama. As a matter of fact, it means that we really ought to be critical of Obama. We recognize that one person cannot, cannot bring into fruition our dreams for our future. And that is what that campaign was about. It allowed us to we invest in the future. We all knew what we wanted to see happening over the next years, over the next decades, over the next centuries. And we felt that if we were able to elect um, Obama, who indicated uh, by everything he said that he identified with all of the historical struggles for freedom, right? I mean, he was a grassroots organizer who identified with the civil rights movement and the movement before that uh, for emancipation. Um, and so now we have to remind him of that. And we have to let him know that we recognize that the making of the future is a collective endeavor. 